May means graduation is just around the corner. And for film students, that means their student movies are getting finished up. These are the ones they hope will make Hollywood stand up and take notice and transform them into the next Marty Scorsese or Spike Lee. Now, when you think of the big film schools, you're thinking, you know, NYU or USC or UCLA. Certainly not the University of Colorado at Boulder. But that might change, thanks to Alfred Packer, certainly the first musical comedy ever shot about the only American ever convicted of cannibalism. Well, with borrowed cameras and lone film stock, a small, demented group of Colorado buffaloes have created a tribute to Packer that is yummy. <laughs> I'm Alfred Packer. This is my horse, Leanne. Yeah! We sat around and said, let's make a feature. Everyone laughed at us, and here we are. I don't think any of us feel like we're on top of it, because we're not. I mean, we don't even really know what we're doing that much. But technically, we do, but we've never done a feature before. <laughs> Probably if someone showed up on the set, they would think it was, you know, a, a standard Hollywood set. Except for the fact that, you know, every everything is just a little cheaper. It's a cross between Taco Bell and Francis Ford Coppola. Cut. Okay. Trey, for example, has not only written the music, the script, he's starring in it, he's directing in it, and he helped us along the way with the, the producing. He was right there when we are in the lawyer's office and forming the corporation that we formed. and going out and looking for investors. It frightens me because we spend a lot of pe other people's money. That's what frightens me. And we're responsible for it. My ass is like... I want a thing about it now. Yeah. Getting out of film school with a piece of paper that says I got, I did, was in film school, film companies can say so what. But if you have something to show them, especially if it's somewhat decent, then that gets them a little more psyched than a piece of paper. <coughs> it does work out then we want to do another film that we produce ourselves, ideally. You know, maybe uh, some, some big rich guy from L.A. or whatever wants to executive produce us. But I know we're keen on uh, keeping our own projects. If you've got creative energy, get it out. I mean, you're going to die, so then it'll be gone. So you might as well get everything out now you can, whether it's music or movies or writing. You know, that's my theory. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is pretty good advice if you can imagine taking advice from a guy who made a musical comedy about cannibalism. Hi, this is Jane Jensen, Juliet of the upcoming trauma movie, Tromeo and Juliet, and your waitress come action news reporter for the Tromaville Cafe. Today, the Troma team is all a bustle in anticipation for Troma Team Video's newest horror film release, Cannibal the Musical. It's a horror film. And it's a great deal too, Jane. Buy one copy of Cannibal the Musical for $69.98 MSRP, or buy two copies of Cannibal the Musical for $99.98 MSRP. What, what a deal! Oh god, prices like that make me want to get naked. <laughs> human flesh! I need some human flesh! I need the human flesh! Cannibal the Musical is the frightening story of a group of Mormons who head out into the uncharted territories of Colorado. Due to the lack of food, they're forced into the direst of circumstances. Cannibalism. That's people who eat people. Cannibal the Musical is one of the best movies to come out of Troma Studios in its 22-year history. It's part of Troma Studios' new dedication to quality filmmaking. And it's a personal favorite of the president of Troma Studios and the creator of The Toxic Avenger, Lloyd Kaufman. I need some human fried thighs. I need some human fried thighs. Look at me, everyone. I'm a cannibal. <laughs> Watch for Cannibal the Musical pre-order date August 8th. And the big street date is August 27th. That's $69.98 MSRP for one videotape. Or $99.98 MSRP for two videotapes. <laughs> What's wrong with Lloyd? Yeah, yeah, I'm a cannibal. I'm gonna tear out your hearts and eat it for breakfast. Yeah. Lloyd, quit being so silly. Sorry. Hey, where did Angelina go? Hey! 
Hannibal the Musical. It's so scary it'll eat you for lunch. Uh. In the cold winter of 1874, six men set out on a journey through the Colorado Rockies. They were looking for gold, but what they found was that they were completely lost. I'm Alfred Packer. This is my horse, Leanne. Tell me something, Frenchie. How does it feel to be riding my horse? Come off it, Packer. Everyone in this town has ridden your horse. You can't find yourself a pretty girl. Colorado has plenty of mountain sheep. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a great time. A bigger mountain sheep. So let the snowman make him make him our best friend. We can name him Shannon. Golly, never thought I'd be sleeping next to a naked man on this trip. Leanne! Did you lose your horse, Packer? Oh, no, wait, 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 our food was on that horse! <laughs> Gross, Packer! In the tradition of Friday the 13th, part two, and Oklahoma comes the first intelligent film about cannibalism. <coughs> <laughs> what the hell kind of language is this? I don't know, just keep laughing. <laughs> when I was on top of you, all the guys I just got away to know. 